Welcome to the Vita Catholica International Broadcast. Let not your hearts be troubled, and be at peace, my friends, knowing that you do not stand alone. Jesus Christ knows your pain, affliction, and all of your sacrifices that you have to endure here in this life, because he has also gone through them and stands with you now and always. Life takes on many transformations, and we must have the faith and the strength to weather through this temporary storm before we are joined to Christ. Just like a piece of Eucharistic bread, it takes on many transformations before it can become a part of the body of Jesus Christ. First, the seed of wheat is planted, and when it is ready, it is born from the ground and develops into a beautiful piece of wheat to be harvested, which can be reflected as the journey of our life. God first creates us, and then he raises us up and molds us to be what can be harvested. This is just not any harvest, but a harvest gathered in the name of Jesus Christ as a shepherd gathers his flock. After the wheat is harvested, all the grains from the entire field are gathered together and reborn into flour. This also can be interpreted as our life's journey. First, we are all gathered together, joined in a mighty church and congregation, and as Christ's love purges through us, we are then tested throughout this life. Jesus Christ's love and grace makes our hard-hearted and materialistic shiny stop to be discarded, and what is left is the transformation of the pure whiteness and humbleness of the flower as we are reborn to Christ to be used for his will. Now once the flower has been mixed with ingredients, it is molded and put through the flame, and once done, it is his Eucharist bread, marked with his eternal seal, to be made ready to become the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, in the same way, this can be interpreted by our own life's journey, as we are mixed all together in his embrace of love, faith, hope, grace, patience, and humbleness. We are being made ready to be molded by his holy hands to do his will. First, we have to go through the fires of this life and prove ourselves. And once done, we are ready to be sealed with his holy name to be finally joined to Christ for all eternity. We then need to help all the others who will be born again in his name to achieve the promises of his, of his eternal and glorious kingdom. Thank you for listening, and God bless.